everybody, my name is Danielle Nicole and welcome to Monetary Makeup. I am so excited for today's video. I ordered a few different Kaleidos products, honestly, probably a month ago, and they just arrived today. So the two items I ordered were one of their special highlighters in the shade Moon Cruiser, which it doesn't look like anything special when you first look at it, but I promise you it is a glorious highlighter. So we're gonna be reviewing this. And I also ordered the Charisma Contour Palette, which is very different than any other contour palette I've ever ordered because not only does it have a contour and bronzer shade, but it also has a matte highlighter. So I'm really excited to see how this highlighter performs. And for those that follow me, I know I mentioned that I'm not really a big fan of powder products because I myself have oily dehydrated skin, but I still like to have some powders on hand for days that I do need to set my face. So while we review these two products, the topic of the day is going to be what is the difference between Obamacare slash the Affordable Care Act versus Medicare versus Medicaid. I get a lot of questions about what the differences are between these three different insurances, I guess you could say. So that's what we'll be reviewing in the topic of the day. So if you're excited to get started, don't forget to hit the like button and let's get started right now. So I have my ColourPop Stone Cold Fox collection brush set, as well as a few mix in of Wet n Wild, Real Technique brushes. So that's what I'll be using to apply these products today. So first, what I want to do is a little untraditional. Um, so I actually, the only products I have on my face so far is the new Tarte Hydroflex Serum Foundation, which is a holy grail foundation of mine, especially on my oily dehydrated skin. So that's the only thing I have as far as base products. And then I do have some of my brow products in as well. So let's start off with this Charisma it's called, the shade that I have is called Cool and Light. The packaging is so cute. And this is the first time I've ordered more than one item from Kaleidos, but the packaging was awesome, you guys. It came in this huge sturdy box. So shout out to Kaleidos for having awesome packaging. Okay, so let's start off with this Charisma Cool and Light Contour Palette. And it does have a mirror in it, as you can see. And the first shade I'm gonna go in with is this cool contour shade. And in case I didn't mention, I'll be doing swatches and aware tests and natural lighting. I always mention this, but I know my lighting isn't great right now, but I do plan on upgrading that shortly. So if you can just bear with me for a couple more videos, I would greatly appreciate it. Now, typically I would use this on my cheekbones and my nose, which I'm also going to do. But as you know, I'm all about quick, easy makeup, and I like to use products in multiple areas of my face as I can for efficiency. So I'm going to use this cool contour shade on my eyelids. So let me get you guys zoomed in just a little bit more and we'll start applying this cool contour palette to my eyes. Okay, so let's start off with the ColourPop E23 brush, which looks like this. It's more of a, it's not a super packed brush, it's more of a diffusing brush, I'd say, but I don't really want to go in with a heavy hand, so that's why I'm gonna start off with this brush. So let's dip in to this cool shade right here. And I've not tried this palette out yet, so ah, I'm so excited. Okay, it does have some kickback, just so you guys can see. So I'm just gonna start applying that cool contour shade to my lids. And the only thing I have on my eyelids right now is the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. I know I mention it in every video, but that is my holy grail eye primer. It does such a great job at controlling my oils, and I hardly ever have any sort of creasing when I use that primer. Okay, so one thing I'm noticing is this shade is pretty light. So I'm actually excited for that because typically contour shades on my pretty fair cool tone skin are just super orange and way too dark and that is not what this is coming across as. It's pretty uh, light and fair. So I just dipped in again. So let's apply a little bit more to my crease. I love these stone cold brushes. I know I mentioned that in my last video, but 
I just love them. They blend everything out super easy and quick. All right, so that is the first cool shade on this side, and let's get the other eye on now. Am I the only one who applies cool contour shades or bronzer shades to my eyelids? I feel like I don't see too many people do that, but it just does such a great job at creating definition, as you can already see, or hopefully you can see. All right, I'm gonna go back in with just a little bit more to make sure each eye is even. I'm gonna focus the second layer a little bit more on the outer corner of my eyelid. Ah, I'm so excited to try this palette, you guys. I ordered this about four weeks ago, and I don't know if you guys have ever ordered from Kaleidos, but their shipping does take a while. So when I received this package today, I just had to get started and try these items out. Okay, so the first shade is looking great so far. Next, I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild brush. And I'm sorry, you guys, it doesn't have a number on it, but it's just a more dense packed blending brush. And I'm gonna dip into the bronzer shade right here and just apply this shade a little bit more on my outer crease to create a little bit more definition. So let's go in with the left side or left eye. Yeah, these shades are actually showing up very well. I know I went in with two dips on the first shade and I think I'm gonna do the exact same thing, dip in just one more time. And I'm dipping in pretty light. I don't know if you guys watch my channel regularly, but for those that are new, I would much rather go in with less product and build up than go in with too much and it's just harder to take away. All right, that looks wonderful. I have a little bit of a more warm shade along with the cool shade, so let's do the same thing to my other eye. This is probably going to be a quick review because this is the quickest eyeshadow blending I've ever been able to do. Okay, so lastly on my eyes, I'm gonna use my, let's see, what brush is this? I know this is a ColourPop brush, but it doesn't say which number it is, you guys, I'm sorry, but it's just a fluffy blending brush. And I'm gonna dip into the matte highlighter shade and apply that to the top portion of my eyelids just to blend everything in a little bit. So let's dip in to this shade right here. Yeah, lots of kickback, you guys. Woo, especially on that highlighter shade. So I would recommend doing your eyes first if you do happen to use that cool and light contour palette uh, before you do your foundation. Oh, this is just blending out so easy, you guys. Ah, oh, I love it. So far, anyway. All right, dip back in and do my right eye. Okay, that's all I'm going to do as far as this portion of my eyes. So just to recap, I have the uh, matte, highlighter shade on the top, the cool contour shade on my crease, and the bronzer shade on the outer V. So this is what it's looking like up close. I did a great job at creating definition. So, so far, really liking it. Okay, so now that most of my eyeshadow is done, let's go in with this Real Technique brush. It looks like it's number 421, which looks like this. I absolutely love these Real Technique brushes. They're also awesome quality for affordable pricing. And I'm going to dip into, once again, the second cool tone shade, and let's get this applied to my cheekbones. All right, so let's go in. Wow, can you guys see that immediate chiseled effect? I think that this undertone and also the depth of the shade is perfect for me. If any of you guys have a fair, cool complexion, wow, that's looking great so far. I'm gonna apply another layer just so that way you guys can see on camera a little bit better. 
I know that it doesn't always show up as much on camera as it does in real life. This brush is perfect for getting that chisel and cheekbone effect. Oh yeah, that is wonderful. All right, let's do the other side. Okay, once again, just gonna kinda go like that and chisel out my cheekbones with the second shade. All right, dip back in for a second layer. And I always blend up and in circular motions with uh, my contour shades, just so that way it doesn't drag my cheekbones down more. Yeah, I'm loving this undertone in the shade. It did a great job at chiseling out my cheekbones. So looking great so far. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm not a big powder person, as I said. So when I do order them, I'm always a little bit leery. I don't know, I just always think they're not going to blend out that good on my dehydrated skin. But my cheekbones aren't too bad right now, so I think it's looking great. All right, off to a great start so far. Okay, so next we're going to still continue to use the second cool tone shade, and I'm gonna apply that to my nose. And I have this Real Technique brush, it's number 447. And you guys, I am pretty sure this is a dupe for that Luna brush. Let me see if I can find it really quick. I don't actually own that brush, but I've seen it online. Let's see. Okay, yep. Okay, so do you guys see this brush right here? Now, I don't have that brush, but I feel like that could definitely be a dupe for that brush. And it does such a great job at my nose contour. So this is what we'll be using to dip into that cool tone shade once again. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit lighter hand on my nose. And I'm not super precise when I do apply this to my nose. I just kind of focus it on the bottom portion. Go up and down a little bit. Yeah, that looks great, but I know you can't see it on camera. So I'm gonna go back in with a second layer and just build it up. Oh, this is just blending into my undertone so perfectly, you guys. I don't like really heavy contour, so I don't think you can really tell. I have a lot of product right there. But yeah, also looking great on my nose. Okay, so now let's dip into the bronzer shade, and I'm going to use this ColourPop E31 Fluffy Blending Brush. And let's dip into this, and I'm gonna go in once again with a light hand, because these are, even though they're, okay, so let me back up. Even though these shades have a lot of kickback, and they are more of a fair tone, I do feel like they are pretty pigmented, if that makes sense. And I do always blend this up into my hairline. It doesn't really stain my blonde hair, but I don't like to have a super fair white line to all of a sudden bronzer. So I always blend it up right into my hairline. Okay, so I'm gonna dip back in with a little bit more of that bronzer shade. So I want you guys to be able to see this color when I go outside in natural daylight. And this is just such a great diffusing brush. So it blends everything out wonderfully. You guys, I can't wait to show you outside. This looks amazing. This is one of my favorite powders so far that I've ever used for contour and bronzer. So I'm so excited I ordered this. Okay, so once again, we're gonna keep using the same ColourPop E31 brush and dip into the bronzer shade. And let's add a little bit of this to my cheekbones to bring back a little bit of warmth from that cool tone that we just applied. So I'm gonna go back in with the second layer, just to add a little bit more warmth to both of my cheekbones. 
a little bit to my temples just to blend everything in. Okay, so lastly for my base products, I'm going to go in with this ColourPop E33 brush, which is a highlighter brush. I have never used a matte highlighter. Have you guys ever used that? I typically use uh, kind of dewy balm highlighter products, but I just want to see how this looks for a highlighter. So we're going to go right up here. Apply it to this side. Dip back in and get the other side on. I feel like I'm rushing this video, you guys, but honestly, it's just that these products are blending out so quick that I don't feel the need to sit here for an hour and just keep blending. But I am building it up a little bit just to make sure you guys can see on camera. Okay, so I just finished applying the matte highlighter shade to my cheekbones. Next, I'm gonna finish up the rest of my makeup. And while I do that, we're going to cut into swatches and then into the topic of the day. And I am going to apply this Moon Cruiser highlighter on the inner portion of my eyes. That way you guys can see a little bit better natural daylight exactly how this Moon Cruiser highlighter looks like. So let's cut into swatches right now. Okay, so it is swatch time. So here we have the Moon Cruiser Highlighter, as well as the Cool and Light Charisma Contour Palette. And it is magnetized on this palette, just so you guys know. And here are the swatches. So first up, we have the Moon Cruiser Highlighter. The next shade is the Matte Highlighter shade. The third swatch is the Cool Contour shade. And the last shade is the Bronzer shade. Hi guys, real quick before we cut into the topic of the day, I just wanted to show you what the rest of my makeup is looking like. I just finished it and I put that highlighter moon cruiser shade on the inner corner of my eyes and then I have the matte shade along with the moon cruiser highlighter right here and I also took the cool shade underneath my eyes. So this is what it's looking like so far. I would say if you have texture and you're over 30 like me, these powders are seriously some of my favorite powders so far. So we'll see how we do at the wear test, but I just wanted to check in real quick with you guys. So now let's get into the topic of the day. Hi guys, hopefully those swatches were helpful for you along with the check-in. So the topic of the day, what is the difference between ACA, Medicaid, and Medicare? So let's first start off with ACA, also known as the Affordable Care Act. There's a few different names that this insurance goes by. So if you ever hear the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, or Marketplace coverage, it's all actually the same thing. The only reason I feel sometimes people get this confused as far as the names go is because some people have a tax credit that goes towards their premium to help lower the premium, and other people do not. So that's the main difference as far as the different names. And the Affordable Care Act is pretty much insurance for those who are too young for Medicare who do not have employer coverage. So a lot of people who are self-employed do have the Affordable Care Act or Obamacare coverage. Okay, so that's the Affordable Care Act, but what is Medicaid? So Medicaid is a government assistance program, one of many, that is specifically for health insurance for those that are below the poverty level to help them afford health insurance for either themselves or the rest of their family as well. Okay, so next let's get into what is Medicare. So the age that you have to be in order to qualify for Medicare is 65 or older, but if you've ever been on disability for a consecutive 24 months, they typically automatically put you on Medicare in the United States. So in those situations when you are on disability, you can be on Medicare, but for the rest of people, it starts automatically for Part A of Medicare at age 65, as well as Part B, unless you opt out. Now, one of the questions I often get with Medicare is what is the difference between starting to receive Social Security versus Medicare? So with Medicare itself, the age, once again, unless you're on disability Medicare, 
is when you turn 65. But the youngest you can be in order to start receiving your social security benefits is age 62. So this is something that often gets confused. So once again, in order to receive social security benefits, the youngest age is 62, whereas with Medicare, it's 65. So two different ages. So once again, just to wrap up, the Affordable Care Act, which is also known as Obamacare or marketplace coverage, is for those who are under the age of 65 who do not have employer coverage. Whereas Medicaid is a government assistance program specifically for health insurance, whether that be for yourself personally or also for you and your family. Whereas Medicare is for those who are 65 or older, unless you have been on disability for a consecutive 24 months and are under 65. And just as a reminder, the youngest age you can start receiving Social Security benefits is 62. So 62 for Social Security, 65 for Medicare. Now I also want to point out, and this does get a little bit confusing, but you can be on Medicaid and also Medicare. And I'm not going to get into the details today, but basically in order to be on Medicare and Medicaid, you have to be 65 in order to start receiving your Medicare benefits. However, if your income level is poverty or below, you could also receive Medicaid benefits. So I hope that helps clarify some of the differences between the Affordable Care Act, Medicaid versus Medicare. Hi everybody, so I am outside right now, so I apologize if you can hear any of the cars, but I do hope the topic of the day helped clarify some of the differences between health insurance with Medicare versus Medicaid and the Affordable Care Act. As far as my makeup goes, it's been on now for about eight and a half hours, and you guys, this cool light palette, as you know, I don't typically wear powders on my oily, dehydrated skin, but this is one of my favorite powder highlighters and contour palettes I've ever tried. And that says a lot because I've actually tried quite a few powder products, and that's the reason why I don't typically wear powders because they emphasize my dehydrated skin. So this cool and light palette is definitely getting a huge thumbs up from me. And as far as the highlighter goes, if any of you have the Space Age highlighter, that one is much more prominent than the Moon Cruiser. A Moon Cruiser is much more light and natural looking than the Space Age highlighter. So if you have that one, that's one of the main differences. But just to give you a close up of what everything looks like, so Moon Cruiser right here, and then the Cool and Light palette, and also both highlighters are on my cheekbones. So if you found this information helpful today, don't forget to like the video and comment monetary makeup down below. And coming up next is going to be a video about all my hidden gems. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful night and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.